Welcome to Cerebro 3.0, a lightweight courseware for undergraduate software project development and management. Let me start by logging in. Since Cerebro is centered around teams, the highest construct is the project, which groups together any number of members. Let's start a new project called Demonstration. With that, Cerebro has generated a project space for this newly created team. Every Cerebro project has the tools a software development team needs to manage their project. Let's take a look at a real project from a previous team who used Cerebro. For the sake of user privacy, names have been redacted. The page we're currently viewing is the project feed, which gives us an idea of recent team activity with links to each event. The page also offers an RSS feed for viewing project updates outside of Cerebro. The idea forum is the key concept behind Cerebro's enablement of project discussion. Members of a project can start a thread with an initial brainstorm idea, and others can reply in the form of agree, disagree, or comment options. Posting triggers an alert so that team members are aware of the activity. Rating options for each post are also available in the top right and bottom left corners. Additionally, tags can be edited in line in the bottom row. This is used to provide connectivity across all Cerebro items. The wiki provides a platform for rapid project documentation. It utilizes Markdown, an intuitive and accepted markup language, to format content with simple text input. Wiki updates can be tagged similarly to posts. A history of wiki changes allows streamlined collaboration between project members in order to produce the final documentation. Using the diff tool, we see the exact changes that occurred from version to version. Each project has its own personal subversion repository for version control on source code. The SVN area displays project member commits to the shared project repository. These can also be tagged, similar to posts. Given that multiple members can be working on the same files, this provides an easy way to track, view, and edit changes to the project source code. The task manager is customized for Cerebra to provide project scheduling. The task manager includes a Gantt chart, which illustrates start and end dates for planned project tasks. Tasks are grouped into larger categories called lists. Any file can be uploaded and managed by Cerebro. This allows members to share and tag files which don't necessarily require version control, such as documents, presentations, binary files, etc. Finally, the scheduling tool implements a basic calendar for inputting events and team meetings. The scheduling tool also alerts project members of these upcoming events. It looks like we've got some requests to join the demonstration project. Let's go ahead and accept them onto the team and start some discussion on the idea network. Let's make a new topic called demonstration thread. I'll go ahead and make the initial brainstorm to start the discussion off. I'll start by adding a header. With the header in place, I'll add post content according to what I'm thinking. Finally, I'll add some tags to organize my idea. Oh, it looks like there's some new posts. Let's check them out. This looks like a good idea. I'll go ahead and agree to it. Let's check some ideas out. I don't really like this idea, so I'm going to go ahead and disagree to it. Thanks for viewing our demonstration. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to visit our website at seat.utulsa.edu or send us an email at cerebro at utulsa.edu.